What's up guys, this is Shana and today we're going to check out Eco Galleria in Eco Botanic. Let's go! Hey guys, today we're going to check out another brand new concept of commercial within Johor itself closer to Tuas the second link so this is like really close to Iskana Putri and Eco Botanic is also next to Edu City where they have several universities there so it's very cool in terms of attraction so you naturally have a catalyst that attracts people here and right now we are in between three elements one would be the residential projects there they look awesome then you have the conventional shop offices there and right behind me which is this brand new concept and initiative that they are trying to attempt called Eco Galleria it's pretty similar to Eco Palladium that we visited but I see roughly it's an improved version but we will see further lah anyway coming in from the main road you will go through this boom gate before you come into the main drop off here so there will be another internal drop off inside and judging based on the landscape treatments very very awesome then again with the european architecture so you have the balustrade design you have the arch around the corridors then you have the cast iron way findings then you have pavers for all your roads open car parks and we will go into the elevator car park now We are now at the elevator car park and that will be the main entrance into the retail space and the car park looks awesome, it's tidy so it's in that conventional beam and column design Then for the flooring material you have epoxy paint, you have a very nice wheel stopper and it's elevated so it's open then you can see the facade treatment this is to add texture into the facade so for Eco Galleria itself in total there will be 420 over units and the car parks will be around 1300 car park base so whether enough or not right it really depends on how well the program within the building itself so if it's very popular no matter how many car parks also not enough so in the car park area you have these sensors as well whenever a car parks here this will turn color and right next to the building itself will be the commercial area so this is part of the township for eco botanic and to my surprise when i came here it's doing very very well and a lot of people thought that the businesses here will not go through the lockdown but in accordance to the team the business here flourish even more it indicates local demand for commercial support around this location then the building there will be eco nest and it's a very popular location among students and if those are not enough where you already have the starbucks you have the local toast and toast you have wang nai nai pan mi you have tea garden etc so it's a good mix of local and franchise brands and if those are not enough you still have eco galleria that's very very interesting then for car park base there's a mixture between open air car parks and covered car parks like this one so imagine if you run an office here your team members would park their car somewhere and this would be rather ideal because they are direct connection into the retail space itself also the offices lah. and because this is again another strata project security is part of the package that you are subscribing to hence there always be security guard patrolling around and somewhat the feeling of safety is there that's very important So from the elevator car park, if you move one level up, then this will be the entrance and drop off for the University of Southampton, Malaysia branch. And they recently relocated over here when this building was completed due to insufficient space from the old place. Now they have around 900 over students and they predict it's going to go up to 2000. So you can see a lot of students are coming back to school. That's great. And to them, convenience means walking accessibility too wherever they need plus it's walking distance to their accommodation which is eco -ness. and they are taking up two stories of this and the interior looks awesome it's kind of purpose built for them therefore it's not like some commercial building adopted a university and they have a lot of brand new labs here but just to touch a little bit on the architecture side you can see the very familiar checker 
floorings. Here you can see certain language of European architecture. Very cool. So looking at it, right, part of the car park building is actually converted into a university. That is so cool and you will have direct connection into the retail space itself. But what's very interesting is right in front of the retail, this space here is a library. What a temptation for the students. <laughs> I don't know whether I can stand or not. So that's a snack store that just recently opened. Imagine when you study, you look at the snack store, <laughs> right? Anyway, you have very familiar treatments, something like palladium in Eco Spring. But instead of cast iron, they use this kind of balustrades instead. So these are pre-cast and it really adds flavor to the space. And for a retail like this, so these are around 700 over square feet and the rental is going around 2,500. Some rents, some are actually going through their rent to own scheme provided by the developer. It somewhat supports them to start up their own business indirectly, slowly paying and owning the shop at the same time. Also, the black and white teams are very, very strong. And you can see the motifs again for your signboard design. These are dedicated spaces for you to put in your signboards. Then you also have the louvers design as well as the curb around the windows. Doesn't this just remind you like the old train stations we see on movies? The entire architecture of it just adds flavor. So when you look at balustrades, in one row like meh right but when you see them all together like that it gives a lot of impact visually that includes the metal roof trusses as well and part of it are transparent so that gives nice daylight into this main atrium space and you can only imagine when this is matured when it's packed right you can just see people around and that's what i really enjoy a car free space ground floor now it's fully air conditioned in a huge open space and if you look into the boxes right there those are accessory parcels to the shops here so not only for decoration those are demarcation of whatever belongs to subsequent owners themselves and galleria is divided into three blocks block a block b and block c which is partially the car park space and the same wedding planning company they took up a lot of lots here as well with their success in palladium they're adopting the same strategy here again along with that i didn't all these decorations make sense because those are something that the business can leverage on if you run a coffee house you don't have to do up a lot of id because the surrounding is already so nice and also improving from palladium every floor are connected via the escalator you don't have to only take leaves of time staircase and i'm just amazed with this height so look at those structural elements wow so we're now on ground floor at the main atrium and it feels nice and it's breezy but i can almost imagine that your retail store is here so let's say you have cafes fashion brand watch brands or whatsoever and what's unique about this location as well this is really close to Tuas which is the second link to Singapore it's like a minute to the highway and there you go and this building is really blurring the line between shopping malls those conventional shop offices or shop lots and office complexes so this is a very nice in-between kind of product then the strata title kind of makes sense here again because the architecture itself is themed so overall it illustrates a certain branding illustrates a certain message so you don't have to really do anything you just come in and do whatever that's within your responsibility which is within the lot hang out your signboard and start business instead of taking care of the facade taking care of the corridors and etc i'm really enjoying myself right now then part of the benefit of having a retail store here is whenever the management decides to throw a Christmas party or mid Austin festival. Most likely they will take place here, then you can benefit from that. And there are two main entrances, one here, the other one you can actually just route in during rainy days. So the other one will be there. So the unit that we're going to visit today will be this unit. It's a retail unit at ground floor and it's kind of like a dual frontage. Where your visitor or yourself can just park here and just walk through the landscape, walk through the corridor 
directly into your storefront. And coming in, you have the checker floorings, then you have these arches, and look at the shadow casting. Those are so awesome, right? Along with the black and white treatments again for all the window frames. And this unit is 25 by 59 feet. And you have this 7.6 meter ceiling height, and it's designed in that way because it's for you to build up your own mezzanine floor if you need to. So you can come in and make this into a two-story cafe or a boutique entirely up to you. And similarly, you will have the drop in the flooring. So this will be just cement squeezing and it's ready for you to lay whatever finishings you want for your floorings. Then the door clearance will be 2.5 meters that is very convenient for you to move any big things into the unit itself and something pretty unique with the unit is you have this panic button whenever you feel vulnerable whenever you feel not safe once you press this a security guard will come and attend and we kind of tried it and it worked <laughs> you have plug points available throughout the unit itself and this will be the water inlet the natural gas along with the floor trap and that box up thing that stands for kitchen exhaust ducting in case you are running a kitchen in the unit itself the exhaust system for your cooking can directly connect into that and that will directly be released upwards to the roof and when we say dual front this is the one facing outside the main room these will be the facing the internal corridors then immediately here feels like a plaza like a mall but outside feels like conventional shop offices and that's the beauty about units of such so this unit here is currently going for around 1.7 million to 1.8 million and the rental going for 7,000 ish for ground floor units and it really differs right because individual units have different owners and that caught my attention because my worry is owners get to rent out to whoever they want to rent out right and it can be a problem when you come to control ultimately the mall requires a program that everyone needs to follow in order to ensure the success of the project so after speaking to the team Apparently, there's a dedicated leasing team for this building itself and I can see their numbers really big outside and they are actively marketing this they are actively putting this product out there in order to attract tenants so whenever there's an interested party they will match make them with the owner during negotiation and within the house rule of the owners there are restrictions to the types of businesses that cannot operate in this building I kind of had my doubts a little bit but when we look and we see the commercial lot next to it one thing's pretty obvious there's no car tire shops or repair centers and even if businesses comes in with their very strong CI for example those furniture stores or Starbucks or coffee bean right they still retain the architecture of the shop offices and let's not forget those are individual titles this is not and it's very cool to see the developer is doing their very best to ensure the success of this project and that's all that matters Okay, coming up from the main door, you will have two wings of escalator, right? So you will also have this small corridor here where we are going to the lift lobbies and check out the ceiling design. It's so cool! Then we're going upstairs via the lifts, right? We are now in the office areas and it's pretty similar to the one that we see in Eco Palladium where you have a corridor servicing all the units around the void area and the void here are also decorated nicely so that's so cool something so colorful totally in contrast to the architecture itself very nice and we also checked out there's a separate service lift besides the passenger lift and the lift lobby and the refuse room is also huge so the debate here for potential tenants or owners will then be the facing would you want to face the shop offices or would you want to face the other side of course the one with more eyeballs with more exposures will be a little bit more pricier and again we see similar corridor treatments these can be areas for kiosks or event space in the future whenever the building program is up entirely something to highlight is also the audio system around the building 
So that's useful whenever there's emergency announcement or whatsoever. That's very cool. And you will have a lot of space for advertisement as well. And this within the office area, if you choose to put up your promotions, you can always work with the management team. And that's something I will need to highlight as well. So because the management company is actually appointed by the JMB, that consists of all the owners of this building. So we have all the owners, there will be a president, and they will be appointing a management company to run the building. And this management company, it's a subsidiary of the developer. So it only makes sense because they are protecting the interest for the developer because indirectly this carries the brand of the developer. Ma. And if the building is successful, the developer then will carry their success to another location. But it's still up to the JMB to appoint their very own company later on. And this format is pretty similar to all of their other projects within Malaysia itself. to Palladium, there are way more alternatives to come upstairs for this project. So you have the escalators, you will have the lift. And coming up from the lift lobbies, today we're going to check out another office, a very small one. This is a 710 square feet. And that's it, Men's street. You have the sprinkler system, which is cool. You also have the water inlet and outlet there. So if you need a pantry or if you're running a hair salon, you need to wash hair or whatsoever, it's actually possible. And the difference for this unit is this is a corner unit, therefore you have an extra opening at the side. And this unit of 710 square feet at the highest floor is around 500,000. And the form is really squarish, so I really like it. So the wall to wall width is 7.5 meters, the height floor is around 3 meters. And based on their uh, customer's feedback, Running an office in the strata building like this versus an individual titled building outside The main differences will be the safety and car park feature So whenever your team works a little bit later, let's say 8 to 9 p.m. There's always a concern on whether your staff can be home safely or at least get to their car safely And that seems to be the main concern for individual titled projects This one is pretty secure because where there's CCTV here, there are security guards patrolling all the time There are also panic buttons available just in case emergencies happen. Then the other thing would be car park. So this area here, they will be implementing collections for the car park services. Unlike their previous project in Eco Spring, the main reason is because many people here, especially in this region of being very close to Singapore, a lot of people park their cars around three areas and they take the bus over to Singapore for work. That's why you can see in Bukit Indah, the hypermarkets implement collection for car parks later after operation for a while because the entire car park is full with people who are working in Singapore. They will just park there, take the bus and go over to Singapore instead of shopping in the mall. But the team mentioned that they will only start collecting whenever the traffic here is a little bit more mature, not at this current state of course. Then the other thing would be the experience of the customer going to your storefront. So if you are at the higher floor for shop offices, usually you need to take a very narrow steps to go upstairs, right? So usually it's dark and you cannot control what's at level 2, what's at level 3 if you are at level 4. This one is different, but the corridors are all open, it's so wide, it's themed. And whenever you park from the ground floor, taking up the escalator through the main atrium and before they come into your shop front, they are already impressed. And if that helps with your business, then this is ideal for you. If your business is merely for team members to process things, right, then it's a debate whether they will work late or not. Lah. <laughs> Another improvement I see will be the window profiles, right? So this is to prevent rain splashing into the corridor because at the higher floors, rain do come in in a horizontal manner and that's really thoughtful. I enjoy it. And the drains are pretty deep as well. So they lead to the floor trap here. And looking over, this will be Eco Botanic Semidis. And the architecture just ties together really nicely. Along with the infrastructure, check out the roads, check out the street lights, check out the landscape, check out the perimeter fencing. Just a nice transition over to this building. And it's just really, really pleasant to just hang out around here. Best case scenario is if you work there, and you have your very own consultancy business, and you just get a space here. You can always go back for lunch time.
coming out from Galleria itself, right outside here, they call it Eco Botanic City, where you have Eco Nest, and you have all the shop offices around. And now it's lunchtime. You look at the traffic, and this is not even weekends where the Singaporeans or Malaysians that work in Singapore comes over. Very, very busy. That is awesome. And walking around, you can see the daycare center, Cherry International School. You can see Speed Marts. You can see a lot of local stores, a lot of steamboats. And they are dedicated streets. So you have the bubble tea streets and you have the pub streets that faces the university. So it will not interfere with the residents right in front here. After several conversations with the team, I thought that this will only be a student area. Not really because during MCO or during lockdown, the sale for their latest launch actually went up and the opening rates for the shops around here went up as well. So this is situated in between old and new townships where you have the old ones such as Galang Pata, such as Pontian also stops by here. Then you have the new ones like Putri Harbour, those in Iskandar Putri and etc. Those also hang out around here because you can just feel the vibe. Like we mentioned just now, the architecture elements are still remain. So you can see they still preserve all the balustrades, they still keep the facade and they stick to the dedicated space for branding. Very, very nice. And I think that's all for this episode. It's now time for Sean Dick 3 on 3. So for the three things I like, number one would be the township design as well as the execution of it. So we have the residential part of it where you have their signature lake, guard house, landscape treatments and etc. We are very familiar and impressed with that. And following up with that, you have the commercial center. They call it the Botanic City. And they still retain some of the architectural treatments, which is the balustrade design, the roof. And now they even have this new building called Eco Galleria. Also, you have Eco Nest, which is the high rise and all these components just complements each other in terms of program and that's excellent. If I'm a resident here now, I can just stop by the commercial area and just in case that's not enough, I can always come to this new setting where it consists of office, it consists of retail and the entire experience is just different. But what I want to highlight here, not only the hardscape where I think everybody can easily just build the same thing anywhere else. What I'm more impressed with is the leasing execution. So how do they get in brands? How do they attract the right tenants and be in control of them? So here you can see that there are certain businesses that are not allowed in this area. How do they get all beverages, bubble tea at one street? How do they get all the pubs at one street? All those control are just amazing. And despite the lockdown, the community here continue growing. And that's very surprising to me. So it means that the local demands here are just awesome. But what's better, it's their execution ability. Then the next thing I like would be the location of this. So this is very close to the second link and this is located in between main residential areas. So we have Horizon Hill, we have Bukit Indah, we have Kelang Pata, we have Putri Harbour and etc. So it consists of very matured areas. Just that there are no main commercial centres. So it used to be Bukit Indah and the shop lots are rather scattered around. There's no focus in terms of commercial center and this may be the next big thing and i can only imagine a crowd here during friday saturday sunday where our friends from singapore comes over it's going to be packed because today is during lunchtime you can look into the crowds right it's already double parking and it's so surprising like the shops are full during lunch crowd you haven't reached dinner yet and the third point would be the product design it's similar to what i say in palladium which is that one and only format of commercial design it's not your usual shop offices where you have the retail and office it's really blurring the line between malls and conventional shopping then what used to bother a lot of people will be the control if i were to be in a strata development but they use strata to their advantage a lot like now with such architecture if those elements helps the business then it will make sense for the tenants or owners because it would then make sense for them to pay for maintenance which they cover the landscape treatments, cleanliness, common areas, security, car parking, facility management, marketing in the future and etc. Then the three things I don't like number one which is the strata title. 
and these differs in accordance to business type if you only need a space to run your operations or you need a space to just run your administration you don't really need anything else just a space to host your team members you don't really need all these architectural treatments you don't need the security you don't need the entrance or the experience to your doorstep if you're not running a business to close deal or to face customers right then the maintenance might feel like a burden this is a debate whether such products suit your business or not the second thing i don't like is the current situation because at this current moment everything feels empty there are just so many units that are empty and it can get kind of scary especially if you run a business or is it weird to be the first one to open here and people tend to have hesitation to come in first but based on their experience in palladium this was just handed over last year october and it's a mere five to six months you can already see things are really picking up and the same team that ran for the commercial center here they are also working in this area so judging based on their previous project within two years time now it's already almost full so they are forecasting the same thing here again and now singapore side open borders and they are seeing way more crowds coming in they are seeing way more commercial activities going on it's only going to be better and the last thing will be the individual ownership of a retail so last time when we think about mixed development it's best that the developer holds the whole retail segment so that they have full control they have absolute control of what's the direction of the commercial center but this one is all individually owned and that I had my doubts because who's going to say what needs to be done whenever festivals come or who's going to stop different business functions from participating in the building so they have this management company which is a subsidiary of the developer that's in charge of the management body so a GMB will usually appoint a management company to run a strata project and that management company has direct interest with the developer so it only makes sense for this project to be a success so the developer can continue their brand and judging based on the commercial shop officers in front although you have brand with strong brand identity such as Starbucks such as international franchises right if you look at their usual buildings in KL they will usually dress up the whole shop lot with their colors or signboard or whatsoever over here they retain the entire building facade which is amazing and they also follow the program set by the developer so all the owners here are working really closely with the leasing team here and that's a very very good thing that communication between owner and developer or trying to make this place a success and with that i think that's all for this episode thank you very much for the team for showing me again another new commercial center this is seriously one of those very unique ones that we see in jb and i can really imagine the lifestyle of a student of a worker who stays around here right i can rent a place in eco nest coming down i have all this cafe and lifestyle elements if that's not enough i can just walk over here or report to our office upstairs that's just great and then you go singapore it's just there and you go city center it's not very far away using the EDL highway but I'm just very very impressed ever since the last time I was here even Southampton upgraded and expanded into a new space here wow and with that thank you very much for watching if you really like this episode like it share it and even subscribe for more information like this until next time this is Sean Tan ciao